Good morning. <clears throat> I've been up here in my office for a while being, because I'm so excited about being here today and sharing more with each of you. I hope that it is a beautiful, happy, happy, sunny day if it's day or bright, clear evening if you're watching at night. So the first thing I'm going to do, the first blend that that I am going to apply right now is Gary's Light because this kind of brings it all together for me. So I, I use this sparingly because it is difficult to get this particular blend. So whatever blend or single oil you have chosen to use, breathe it in. Just get yourself in gear. And the other thing that I'm going to use is that it just jumped out at me this morning is Northern Lights Black Spruce. This is the single oil that anchors the frequency of the fourth glyph, which is the nurturing of self and others and finding that perfect balance of giving and receiving. It also, to me, brings in those joyous colors of the northern lights, the rainbow of colors, which totally, of course, captivates me because rainbows are my thing, rainbow healing system. I have my rainbow butterfly right here on my desk just to remind me of these frequencies of the colors. So sit back. I have two bowls here today to play for you and I need to get some of this oil off of my hand or I may drop the bowl. So. So once again, happy, happy Sunday. The title for today's session kind of jumped out at me because we have been talking over the last week so much about emotions and feelings, the difference between emotions and feelings, and assessing and judging. The fact that assessing is a neutral, it is, a, it is an objective thing that has no emotion or feeling involved. And judgment, which is totally subjective and brings in all of those things that are locked away in our memory banks, things that we may not have dealt with. So. Grab your oils because you may choose to apply lots as we go on. So as I was going through these things, the first question that came into my mind was, are you listening to your brain or to your heart? Now, remember when I ask questions, I'm asking them of myself as well. These are things that have come up during my meditations, during my conversations with Source, if you, if you please. 
So these are things that I constantly am asking myself as well. And sometimes I am surprised at the answers. That's why we check in as often as we do. Remember, this is all that Gary process, that grow actively refining yourself. Every single day we are growing and we are just moving forward, polishing, refining as we go along. So how do we, what is the most important thing for seeing what's in our heart? I realized that I had talked before about what's in your brain. And now we're moving into the heart now. Most of us, I'm talking about me when I usually say most of us, because I was taught to live in my brain. My brain was a very finely tuned, I thought, finely tuned computer that I could be there and everything could be logical and it could be, I could compute things and just move through. If something, if there was a glitch in the road, I could recompute. And it allowed me to live in logic. It prevented me from living my feelings. In other words, I got very, very good at covering up my feelings. How many times are we told as we are growing up, don't cry, don't cry, be a big girl, be a big boy, be strong. Crying is weakness, emotions are weakness. Well, emotions are what truly, truly allow us to experience life and experience the joy of life the joy in every moment. The oils that I have chosen, the blends that I have right in front of me, well, I have, if I showed you the picture of what's on my desk, you would understand why I'm knocking things over because they're probably of over 50 essential oils, maybe more, and blends on my desk at this moment. And I just pulled some of them forward because they jumped out at me this morning. And the first one is joy. Joy. We don't, do we feel joy here? Not really. Where do we experience joy? In the heart. So the first one that jumped out, and that is also one of the top things on my refinement list, the things that I choose to have in my life. So it's a learning experience, realizing that as I'm connecting with the source, the creator, every single moment, that connection can be stronger and stronger, and that connection is not in the brain. The way we connect with the Creator, the way we receive our messages is when we connect through the heart. When we get rid of all that logic, all of the distractions, all of the extraneous things that we all have a tendency to get involved with, when we can push them out and really listen. This is what is so important about that daily connection, that not just daily, but that often checking in to be sure that we are listening, that we are fully connected with the source. It, it may require total re, 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 redirection. And Stephen is telling me frequently now, he says, Francis, I never know what direction you're going to go. You say you're going to do something and then all, and you, you do things in a certain way and then you change. Well, for so much of my life, I held rigid, rigid to the way things were done. Which blend or single oil may really be helpful to, to get rid of that rigidity I certainly think about, let's see, release blend. I have not located where these are on my desk, but I pretty much have an idea. 
and the lemon essential oil, which anchors that frequency of freedom, the seventh glyph, the energy of release, letting go of those things that are no longer serving us. Now, this may confuse those around you. Stephen will be very happy to tell you that I confuse him all the time. He's, he never knows what I'm going to come up with next. And neither do I. That may be what makes things more fun. Because I am experiencing things in a totally different way. Our perception allows us to experience the lessons around us. And when we unlock those painful memories that may be stored with a steel shield around our heart, when we unlock those and allow them to get out, to dissipate, then there's so much more room for all that joy, that happiness, that harmony. I don't know about you, but harmony is another one of my top three things that I choose to have in my life. So how can we access more and more of what is really in our hearts? Well, I have found that it's by pushing those distractions out and really focusing on our connection, on my connection with the Creator. What is in someone else's heart may not be at all related to what is in yours. So it is a matter of uncovering it a little bit at a time. And most of us, for me, I allowed the things that I had learned throughout up here to dictate what went on in my heart. And if I didn't think it up here, it it was hidden from my sight. Some of you may think of this as the shadow portion of self. Well, the, the reality is every single one of us was created perfect. We were created magnificence in the total magnificence of this being that has everything that we require. And it's just that we hide certain parts and attempt to be more like other things that we think up here may be more appropriate. They may be more wider accepted, widely accepted. Well, guess what? Other people's perception of you is not the important thing. The important thing is your own understanding of who you are and the acceptance of who you truly are. And what is the, blend, the single oil that anchors that energy of acceptance? Well, sacred frankincense and frankincense. And that is at the root of so many of the blends, the beautiful blends that Gary Young created for us. Um, he put, if you read through the single oils that are in, so, in the blends that he created, you will find frequently geranium. And what does geranium anchor in the rainbow healing? It anchors that frequency of forgiveness, of forgiving ourselves for overlooking our magnificence, for forgiving ourselves of what we may have done in any situation, and forgiving ourselves of what we may not have done. It's not about forgiving others. It's about truly forgiving ourselves for not being what we consider perfect. We're always perfect. We just have lessons to learn. That's why we're here. So every lesson can be a joyous experience 
but often those lessons may be painful. So as we get through some of those pa more painful, more difficult lessons and allow them to come out and accept them, frankincense and sacred frankincense, then we can experience more and more of the joy of each moment and more and more harmony in our lives. Well, today I, I draw cards for the rainbow healing before I start talking, before I come upstairs. I draw them and I, I meditate on them before I start talking on, my, on these sessions. And what, what came up for me was fulfillment. Fulfillment, which is bringing passion and joy into the life experience. What does truly bring passion into your life experience? It also has so many sub, little other little detail things that can be very helpful. These are the glyphs of forgiveness, of the nurturing, the compassion, and the harmony or the unity glyph, things working together in harmony, which also is anchored by Ylang-Ylang. So the, the single oils of geranium, frankincense, Ylang-Ylang, combine so well in many, many of our beautiful blends or as single oils. I, as you know, I love applying single oils. I also love applying blends. I just love applying Young Living Essential Oils. They make me happy. And happy and joy are two things I love to experience, so I use them a lot. Now, one of the other things that I brought out was, of course, highest potential. Because to me, highest potential in each moment can only occur when we get out of here and really get into the heart. That's when we experience that joy and harmony along with the lessons of the moment. When we are attempting to be up here, we are going to lapse into that judgment we're, we're gonna get away from assessing and we're going to lapse into the judgment, bringing in the memories, the experiences that we have had and allowing them to color our perception. So, to get into our heart is really getting to the nitty gritty. And it allows us to really hear our messages where are you when you hear your messages? Well, you may say anywhere, and you would be correct. Most of us hear them the best when we are not distracted by other things going on. And when we write them down, we do not lose them. Have you ever had awakened in the morning knowing that you had beautiful dreams, lots and lots of of happy things going on, and you immediately forgot them. That happens to me a lot, unless I write things down immediately. And when I am communing with the source, when I am listening to my messages, when I am meditating and truly focusing upon being in my heart, the things that come through do not last, it's like they flow through quickly in a, in a rapid succession. And if I write them down, they're there and I can experience them over time and perhaps understand better why things happen the way they do. So I'm going to suggest that as you go through this week, you pay attention to whether you're here or here, just ask yourself, am I living up here right now 
or am I living here? Now, if you have a job that requires your being up here, then a certain portion of your time must be up here, which means that it's important to pay attention to what happens in that other part of your time that you do allow, you do deserve to spend time connecting with who you truly are. You and the source know exactly what is required, what it, why you're here, all of your magnificent gifts and how they work together. For us to think, to even think that we can, can, put them, can do this and we can do a better job than what flows through us from the source is really kind of ludicrous when you think about it. So for most of us, because that's not the way we were raised, it's hard to really bypass this and get down to here. So looking into our hearts, what do we allow? This may be an, an eye opener for you. What do we allow to prevent us from being here in the heart? Are we afraid that we may have an emotional response that might not be acceptable to others? It's possible. We live in a world with others and we often spend a lot more time attempting to please them than we do attempting to live our lives with joy and harmony and excitement in every moment. So as you go through this week, I, I challenge you to select a particular oil. I'm selecting Northern Lights Black Spruce. And use this oil to bring you back to that space of connection with the source as a reminder to you. I also have the crystals that I like to keep with me, keep close to me in my bag or in my pocket to remind me, it's a reminder more than anything else, of staying in the heart, staying in the moment of nurturing myself as well as attempting to move forward up here. So, have a happy, happy week filled with beautiful, beautiful observations and rainbows and joyous experiences. And I'll look forward to seeing you next Sunday.